Hello. In this last video on radical stability, I'm just going to give a couple of quick examples of some radicals that are uh, considered stable or persistent radicals, meaning that they have uh, long lifetimes. They don't react uh, very quickly and, and decompose into other things. Um, and so, so the first example I have here on the left-hand side is, is the triddle radical, where triddle is actually uh, short for triphenylmethyl. Um, this radical in the center with all these aromatic rings around it has m so many different resonance structures that this thing is uh, persistent uh, or stable. In fact, you can buy this compound uh, or this this radical as, as its own uh, chemical species and store it. Um, and the triddo radical was, you know, it is because of its unique stability, it's also the very first organic radical that was ever discovered and isolated. The second group are radicals in the phenoxy case. Uh, and so they are, they have structures like this. In fact, the specific radical uh, that I am showing is the radical derived from BHT, butylated hydroxytoluene, which is an antioxidant preservative. Uh, antioxidants work by uh, either, either destroying reactive radical species or by, uh, you know, by, you know, reacting with oxidizing agents in, in a way that prevents uh, reactive radical species from forming. Uh, the BHT radical is stabilized both by resonance um, and also by, uh, by sterics. The tert butyl groups uh, butyl groups here prevent additional reaction of that radical with other things. And then the last structure also sort of has this steric uh, stability because, well, there's no resonance possible and there's not really anything special about the nitrogen oxygen bond that would make that radical more stable. This molecule is, is, is sometimes referred to tempo, where, where tempo is short for tetramethyl morphine, uh, tetr tetramethyl uh, I'm sorry, tetramethyl piperidine. I apologize for the, the pause. Uh, oxide. No. Uh, this concludes the the uh, this concludes my series of videos on radicals. Uh, generally, radicals are reactive things that go on and do other reactions. And in the next series of videos, I'm going to talk about the types of mechanisms by which those reactions occur. But it is worth noting that there are a handful of molecules out there that are radicals and that's just how they are. Uh, thank you for watching.